Hello everyone, welcome back to the chess grind. It's a new day. Let's try to win some points. So I started playing the longer time controls yesterday, and I think I prefer the longer games with more time. Uh, I feel like I was making some better moves when I just had more time to think. Uh, so I think I'm just going to keep doing that. I think I can get the knight out here. Uh, do I go for the I can attack his knight on f6. But um, let me think. Oh, right. But then I'm going to lose a defender if he takes my knight on c6. So I do need to add a defender here. Uh, what's the best course of action here? I think it's... No, I think he gets the advantage if he takes a knight and I trade with the b-pawn here. Mm. Think about this. I think we might just have to trade off pawns or something. I could always go d4 with the knight, right? Attack his knight. And then I can recapture with the pawn, but maybe that's too advantageous. Um, I could always try to kick his bishop as well. I could rather just kick the bishop. It seems like a safer bet. <clears throat> I see. So... After I retake his pawn, um, he can take my pawn, and then he can take my knight. Okay. Let's think about this. He'll probably go here. Yeah, I was kind of expecting that. Mm, so I can't really take his pawn now. That wouldn't really be a great move. I can probably develop the dark square bishop onto uh, d6. He has f7, but that's kind of pointless. Mm. Where else can he really go? There, there. Or, no, there, there. Whoops. There, there. All these squares are defended if he were to jump with the knight. Um, cool, yeah. I'll just develop the bishop and. Yeah, that's fine. And now I can... I can either get the queen out and then try to trade off. Um, but I think I'd rather just castle, get the light square bishop out. Oh, he's got this nasty fork. Uh, I always fail to notice that. Um, okay, so I kind of want to... Okay, so I think I have to move these pieces around um, just because of this fork. Right. I have to be aware of that. Hmm. Maybe it's worth pinning this knight. Well, I guess that's not really a pin, but maybe it's worth attacking his c3 knight. Or does that really make sense? Hmm. No, I have I have to move either this knight or this bishop here. Hmm. I'd like to move to a defended square. Maybe this is just okay for now. I'm up against the 782. I didn't even notice that. So he's 100 points higher than me. That doesn't happen to me very often. Usually there's maybe like, you know, a 20 or 30 point max difference in the ELOs, but this is pretty high. Okay. Hmm. I guess if I take his knight and he retakes with the pawn, I do have the ability to trade off queens, but I don't think I'd want to do with that early. 
maybe. I could always pin his knight on g4 there. I think I'm just going to take his knight and move my queen over. Oh, I'm surprised he didn't go that way. I'm really surprised. I thought he would have opened up uh, for the queen to trade off there. Um, okay, no worries. Let's see, so I would like to snag this pawn. So I think I just need to support. Need to support or add another attacker, I suppose, to e4 there. Very good. I'll pin his knight on f3 there. Okay. There's a weak pawn here. I think I'm forced to kick this. Yeah. Okay, what am I what am I losing by taking the bishop here? Am I really losing anything? Okay, so I have to remember that this bishop is hanging at the moment. So what can he really do? Hmm. This is actually a good for, move for me because then um, I can eye his uh, weak pawn there. He'll probably notice it, but man, is there really any harm in taking this? I don't think there's any harm. Uh, the pawn structure is really weird there. I basically just have one undefended pawn at this point. I'm guessing he'll probably just push his D pawn. Hmm, that was surprising. So obviously we need to move. Hmm. We'll probably need to move over to e6 there, right? I could always eye his queen too. No, that would be silly. Hmm. Or could I eye his queen? No. No, I think we just have to connect these two. I don't really love that my rook, or sorry, that his rook and my rook are on the same file. Sorry, his rook, my queen. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, so there is a weak pawn here. I imagine he'll move his queen up. I'm kind of waiting for him to move his queen so I can take his knight uh, for him to open up the G file here. Um, I kind of want to scoot my rook over and just put it on the same file as this queen. And at least get this piece developed. I have to watch out for forks too. He can always attack me this way. Hmm. I think d8's okay here. fine. I have an escape square for this bishop here at some point. Hmm. I wonder if I should go f5 or h5. I have some options. Hmm. So I have a bishop. He doesn't have a bishop. I'll keep it connected with the queen. 
Um, yeah, I think the bishop is going to be valuable this game. Since I have one, he doesn't have one. Um, that's fine. I think this is a mistake on his part. Um, so he's basically opened up a diagonal uh, down the road for his queen. Or, excuse me, to his king. I'll just tuck this over, over here so there's no potential for an attack on h4 there from his knight. He moves his king over. Interesting. Okay. I think at this point I'm going to try to hunt down this pawn here. Um, I could always pin his knight as well at some point. Okay, he saw that move. I'm kind of tempted to break his pawn structure here too. I mean, if I go here, he may be tempted to take. And then if he does take, which I don't think he will, uh, my rook has eyes on his queen. Hmm. I'm just going to try it. I'll get the pawns into the action. The trade, huh? I'm not ready to trade. I'm down a piece, so I really don't want to trade. Hmm. This rook is weak here. Boom, boom. Something like that. I don't think he would fall for it. I'll just pin his knight. Interesting. He really wants that trade. Yeah, he kind of just broke his pawn structure here. I don't know if that was the best move for him or not, but... I'm going to maintain the pin on the knight. Really wants that queen, doesn't he? <laughs> I don't have... I'm kind of running out of options. I think it's interesting that he's pushing so hard uh, with his pawns. I mean, I guess I'll just keep falling back, huh? Can always go attack his rook. I think I'm just going to play it safe. I mean, if he if he pushes his e pawn, I'll just recapture. Fun game so far. Hmm. Let's look at the board from his perspective. Yeah, he only really has one weak piece, which is his rook down here on a1. Not anymore. <laughs> no, I can't push this pawn. There's a weak pawn here. 
I bet he'll move his rook over if I go over here. Mm, okay. I'm pretty sure he'll just go A1 there. Is that so? Hmm, I see. So I... Let's see. Interesting. Can someone tell me, is this on... No. On passant? No, no, no. It's not on passant. <laughs> I don't want to fall. I don't want to fall for that again. That's the opposite way. So if I went here, he could on passant. Right. Okay, so if he goes here, I think he kind of just wins because takes, I'm either forced to take there. I'm kind of tempted to just push this up to tell you the truth. Mm. I don't think taking is the play here. I think I just come out... I, I think I'm just going to get checked um, because my king doesn't have anywhere to run here at the moment. Um, so I think I'll just play this one safe and just push the f-pawn up. Okay, kind of saw that coming. I'll just keep these connected. I probably should have defended the C-pawn. Uh, my C-pawns are uh, basically hanging here at the moment. Yeah, good move. Good move. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. I do have this attack here. Um, I'm okay with this move. Bishop's bishop's protected there. Cool. So that was basically a free piece there. So I'm happy with that. Um, I don't think I can snag any more. Hmm. Maybe I just fall back and just try to get these pawns, huh? Hmm. I kind of like that idea. Yeah, the bishop is 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 paying off. It's coming to be uh, really handy. Yeah, cool. So I can just attack his queen here now. Yes, yeah, so this is a bit of a forcing move here. And I don't think I can attack anything else. I think I'll push this pawn here and just clear up the center of the board. have to be mindful of the threats coming down my way here too. All of my defense is on this side of the board. All of his offense is kind of on this side of the board where my king is. Uh, so I kind of need to be careful. Oh, that's a good move. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. 
Yeah, I've kind of blocked my pawns in here, huh? I can't really defend these either. Hmm. Yeah, these, these pawns are going to be really tough to deal with. He basically kind of has control over the center of the board. Hmm. How do I deal with this? Well, not quite sure what to do. Oh, I have a really nasty check here. And I think I can just snag this pawn after this move. Yeah, that's a pretty sick check. Oh, I can't. No, I can't take. Yeah, I can snag this pawn. And then I can trade off rooks here afterwards. Hmm. I do have a check here. This is a tough one. Oh, I do have check here as well, right? Wait, isn't this just... Let me think about this. So he's going to be forced to block with like one of his rooks. Right? He'll probably be he'll probably throw this rook in, I imagine. I do have a check this way. Hmm. Yeah. Well no, I can't oh right. That kind of messes up my structure a little bit. I guess I do have this check, huh? This is a bit of a forcing move. Or should I just go this way? Let me think about this. If I go this way, he only has this square to escape to. I need to be mindful of this threat like at all times. Maybe this is just too good to pass up. Uh, oh, and now this is actually really good. So I think that was probably the worst thing he could have done. I. I think he should have taken with the queen because um, his rook was pr protecting this here. Also, I do have a free knight, but I think uh, just grabbing this past pawn is more important. And I'm happy to push the rook here and just trade this off. Yeah, so he was really close to um, nabbing some past pawns there. Yeah, so this is fine. Um, let's see here. Do you have a check? I think I'll just force him around. Could always snag this pawn. Hmm. I don't want to do that. Maybe I just have to give my queen some help. I mean, I have check here, but then he can just run back. Oh, no, I can't put the rook there. No, 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 no. Guess I'll just snag whatever I can. I mean, if I could get onto this square, I can kind of just win. But how are we going to do that? Do 
we force some of there. Let's see. I think I do have maiden two, huh? One, two. I mean, unless he moves his queen. I'm going to try it. Oh, no, I don't have maiden two, right? Because he just moves here. Yeah, never mind. But I do have a free knight. Look at that. A free knight all to myself. I don't get those very often anymore. The married guys will get that joke. Especially the ones with kids. Okay. Okay, so it's probably a pretty good time to trade off here at some point. And this pawn's really annoying, huh? Oh no, I can't go there. I'd be happy to just trade queens off here at this point. Um, I have a pretty big advantage. <laughs> Maybe we just trade the rooks off already. Or push a pawn. Hmm. I think I'll just try to push a pawn up. I think this will force his rook to move. Um, I really just want to start trading these rooks off and get rid of this pass pawn. And not lose on time. How sad would that be if I lost on time, huh? Interesting. Maybe it's time to just focus. Oh, man. Oh. Ugh. Ah, oh, damn. Oh, he's got the win here. I think this is okay. I think this is okay. Yeah, he had check here, but he doesn't anymore, so um, now I think I can just run run my pawn up the board. He'll probably go here. Yeah, okay, so I was expecting that. Um, so I can just go trade these off. Um, okay, that's fine. Uh, what do I do here? I'm trying to remember. I'll protect. Nice. Yeah, GG. Ooh, kind of a sweaty game. I'll be honest. A little bit of a sweaty game. I was, I was feeling the time pressure there at the end, but um, overall, I'm happy that I just didn't throw the advan advantage away towards the end there. Um, I think what really saved me there was just finding some decent moves with the bishop. Um, I think just rec being able to recognize the fact that he had, let's see, so comparing minor pieces, he had a knight, I had a bishop, and I kind of figured that the bishop was going to be more valuable 
um, in the long run, which I think it ended up being. So let's just look at the review. Okay, so these are like all book moves so far. I was a little hesitant to take. I thought there may have been like a really early queen trade at some point. Right, so when he took um, my knight there, it basically hung the e5 pawn. Yeah, his knight was on my side of the board. Um, so my thought here was that I wanted to just develop a piece and then kick his knight as well since it was hanging. That was kind of the idea. Move the knight back. Interesting. Okay. Didn't really see a big reason to move the knight back, but okay. I mean, I figured it was defended and nothing was really attacking it, but that's okay. Okay, so move the rook onto the open file. And moving the bishop over to g4, this basically pins his knight. Yeah, I didn't I didn't quite follow this move here, taking the knight. Um I, I wasn't really sure what the plan was there. Oh sure, so moving forward. Okay, so protecting the hanging bishop here. That makes sense. Yeah, it looks like the engine really wanted this bishop to be protected. So that makes sense. Um, yeah, kind of like similar to what he did to me when he took my knight with his bishop. Um, I wouldn't want to take his knight here because the queen just protects it. So it's not like it would have opened up the g file or anything. So Ah, interesting. Right, right, right. So I could have moved the queen over and that would have um, pinned his pawn. Gotcha, and then I could have just nabbed this queen and, or excuse me, nabbed this pawn and attacked his queen at the same time. So, right, so he can't take because he's pinned there. So then that, that would probably force his queen out somewhere. Right, so this basically wins a pawn here. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I should have. Yeah, I need to get better at recognizing this that the queen can pin the pawn here. Okay. Good suggestion from the engine. Okay. This was just uh, attempting to make him fall for a trap. Taking the pawn, and then the rook has eyes on his queen, but he didn't fall for it. So the engine wanted to trade. Yeah, I was down a piece here. I was, what, down a pawn? So I wasn't quite ready to trade off here. Yeah, I just, I wasn't ready to do that. All down to the light square. Okay, this is a good time for you to get out of trouble. Yep. I just thought he was being a little too aggressive with his pawn push down the center, um, personally. Maybe someone can tell me if I'm wrong, but that's just my opinion. I know he had a lot of uh, pieces kind of barreling down and supporting the pawns. Um... But I think I think he would have been better off just trying to make his knight more active instead of throwing in the rooks and the queen down the middle first. I don't know. That's just my idea. So take the pawn here, huh? And then what? And then pawn takes. Okay, and then yeah, I could trade these off. I guess if he were to trade these off, I, I could snag 
this here, this hanging pawn. But even then, this just puts me into a really bad position. So what does the engine have to say about this? I was really going back and forth about this move here. Interesting. So the engine just wants to block his pawn. Hmm. And then what? D2. I kind of figured A1 would have been the play to protect his uh, hanger here. Interesting. F6 is an inaccuracy. You've given your opponent a better structure that structure with that protected pass pawn. Ugh. Having a hard time reading there. Mm, interesting. So just moving up instead. Gotcha. Yeah, I was trying to keep these connected. I was trying to keep the rooks as connected as I could. Um, I didn't want to disconnect them. That was a thought process there. If I would have done this move different, I probably just would have moved to C8. Maybe not even C8 because he could have just kept pushing this pawn at some point if I wouldn't capture. But yeah, after bishop takes c2, I felt like this is kind of where it turned around for me and where I started to gain an advantage. This attacks a bishop winning a tempo when it moves away. And what does it say? Ah, this is, no, no, no. You want a material by capturing a pawn, yeah. Yeah, so I was really just looking for opportunities to try to even out the material count here. So he was up one, so really I just wanted that extra pawn to try to even the board out. B3 is an inaccuracy. Overlooked a better way to move a bishop to safety, permitted the opponent to force weakened uh, backwards pawns. And this is probably the worst move. His first blunder, sure. Yeah, so he just needed one more defender on c4. So let's just pretend he went here. That basically um, stops this move. And now this would force my um, queen to go do something else, and he would still maintain a pretty big advantage there. Yeah, so I felt like this was kind of the move where the deal got sealed. And then I threw it all away. So what could I have done here? <laughs> you only had one good option there. You permitted the opponent to create a pass pawn. Well, he didn't quite get there. Yep. So I wanted to block his uh, rook from protecting his pass pawn here. Yep. And then somehow I was able to find this check here. This one's a pawn for your taking. And then really his whole structure kind of got muddied after all these uh, checks. I just, I wonder if there was a better move instead of bishop c4 check. Um, I, I was really debating between the check and takes here since this would have been um potential mate in two situation. So I'm just wondering, if I would play this out, what would his next move have to be? Okay, takes. And then I imagine, yep, takes. Okay, so I would just recapture here. Mm. And his queen would go in, huh? With the check. Let's see. And he goes in with the trade takes yeah and then he's up he's up a queen right so it looks like the line that i went for there was okay ish the check 
And this was the debate as well. Do we go for the check or do we capture the passed pawn? Um, yeah, I suppose in retrospect this was a bad idea because the idea that I had of blocking his rook from protecting this passed pawn sort of went backwards. Um, and then I couldn't take this passed pawn, so... Yeah, this move would have been pretty valuable here. And then I maintain a really big advantage. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I think I just ignored the pass pawn threat. And I didn't respect it enough. And I think I should have just taken these while I could. So yeah, makes sense. I see. Uh, so I had a free knight here. Gotcha. So may as well have just taken the free pieces, huh? Since my bishop wasn't being attacked. Yeah. Makes sense. Makes sense. And then I gave him a really big advantage here, but it looks like he wasn't able to find the move. I'm surprised I didn't go for the knight here. I'm just wondering, I don't think I had an opportunity to check to mate here, did I? Because I figured as long as his knight was protecting h2, there was no opportunities for mate. I know there was um, a mate situation on h1, but the question is, how was I going to get to that square? I figured he would have... Um, I guess he would have had to move the rook up, huh? This isn't an accuracy. Ah, okay. Isn't that what ended up happening in kind of just a roundabout way? Okay, so we got to the same idea. It just took a few extra moves. So good moves, good moves. Yeah, okay, so I think the reason why queen e4 was the best move was because um, it was really kind of a fight for e7, right? So this queen e4 moved, basically removed this uh, defender, the rook, off of e7, um, and then we were able to trade pieces off here. And I think he kind of did himself a disservice here by um, blocking my pass pawn with his pawn. So. Right. See, because if that pawn wasn't here, he still could have um, taken this pass pawn here. I know I'm still up a lot of material here, but I mean, he could have had a chance, I feel like, still. A slim chance, but a chance nonetheless. Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, this makes me happy. Um, I feel like this makes up for yesterday's game <laughs> with my poor performance in the end game. And I'm pretty happy about this win, especially considering that this player's roughly 100 elo higher than me. Um, I think this is probably the highest rated player that I've played against and won and just normal rated rapid games um so i'm pretty thrilled about that that's pretty cool so um yeah thanks guys for watching and uh see you guys tomorrow